so that the most boring thing could be done first. Thank you. I'll be reading three poems to all of you, too. The sun doesn't shine, she hides. We only get her glances through the reflections on abandoned factory windows. My heart has ten or fewer items now, but I can wait in the regular line. Crows coo their throaty song for someone. Maybe it's for you, dear. Sorry I slapped your little face, sir. You were a good man, too. If justice exists in slivers, then why can't even it fall here, incidentally, just once? We wait for nothing. Rain, bird song, nothing. Blesses us anymore. Just all the old post-war blessings America gave when she owned right enough. Not even regular injustice, just casual ambient wrongs. I can't sing these songs. Poem two. Yeah! Yeah! Dove rips out other dove's wings, buries them, marries the dove, builds house. Old dove sits in fireplace waiting to be found. Peace dove starts ten month long search to find momentum and a dining table. My dove is training to become a marathon runner. You could be a sky bird or a funky and creative land bird, depending on real estate prices. A crush of doves are pushed around by an out of season squall. My dove is Blackstaff Red. No one discusses this in summer. None. Two doves look to fill their guts along my arteries. They are not disappointed. That's real! That's real! That's real! Third poem, last poem. Bird and body. Burn body. Don't lie to the moon. The blood black sky replace the stars. We are alone again. Not really. There are all these babes, but no earth beneath them. We float yeah! the clear way in the sea alone without a map with forefathers to call on the phone. No one uses their phones anymore. I must find my own way to their unwashed islands where they live. She is he, philia, philip. There are few words back then, but we have since found more ways to name them. The Pleiades, Andromeda, Sirius 12, or some shit like that. I gaze, I see nothing, I wander back to bed because it is hard to sift the sand. This year I will spend alone like all other years, but instead I will celebrate it. I forgot the Neander Valley within me, its cave is now my home. Kak Oronka, you are now mermaids. We stairs, ambivalent at 10,000 pink triangle before our tour of Amsterdam. Spit dribbles off my dick, honey, to you. We are bored of this field trip. While I gracelessly fall into a sleep, our train passes the unmarked grave of our father's ghosts. I will eat all the dogs in my house so I can write their song. Thank you. Yeah. Roxy Pittsburgh, enjoy your 199th birthday. Woo!